Hi everybody, my name is Sharice Bailey and welcome to my YouTube channel, Motherhood Exposed. Okay, so as you can see, I have my bonnet on, I have oversized t-shirt, my robe, this is what it is. No makeup, no anything, eyebrows need to be done. I haven't slept in days because my daughter is going through a three month regression. So that means that I am up every hour during the night and she only takes half an hour's um, naps during the day. So I only have like a little bit of time to get this done. Um, but I did want to at least start and kind of just tell you about myself and my journey. And this episode, I'm going to be discussing the top 10 things that you need um, for when you go in for um, delivery. So everyone always talks about the baby, but no one ever really talks about the mom and the things that you kind of need. And these things kind of help me during my time delivering my child and thereafter. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is this robe. This robe is the bomb. It's a small or medium. I actually, my daughter's crying right now. So actually, pause that, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So I had to get the little one. Um, and so this robe is called Silver Lilies. I got it off of Amazon. Um, I think it might have been like 20 or 30 bucks, but it's so super comfortable, especially when you're a running milk machine and you don't, you're in pain from delivering or having a cesarean. If you tour, especially I tour, I had one to two degrees um, stitches. So uh, putting on pants and things of that nature were just not happening. It's not comfortable at all. So just walk around in your robe and an oversized shirt and of course your nursing bra. And so that's the second thing that I wanna talk about. Nursing bras are a must if you plan on nursing. And I got this from Desire Love and this bra um, comes in a pack of three and they're really inexpensive. And I also got this off of Amazon. Mostly, actually I think pretty much everything I got off of Amazon. And the next thing, so, Cis baths are the best things. So this cis bath from Suthic, right? Easy to use. And then also is really, really, really great when you can actually pair it with um, like a bath salt. So this is Recovery Ritual Sits Bath Salt. And this did help um, in my recovery process and to help to assist and aid in healing my stitches and it's organic and you know it has things like epsom salt but then it has yarrow um white oak bark um, essential oils lavender which is one of my favorite things and i think it also helps for soothing and calming so you could just put this in to your warm bath water you sit um on the toilet with it and you can kind of just relax and this also gives you an opportunity to kind of just center yourself and just relax, listen to some calming music. Music. Um, I would read a book while I was there and it would calm me down. Another thing that's gonna be imperative is gonna be this Perry bottle, which they do give you at the hospital. You can also get, um, if you ask for cis bath, sometimes they'll give you that at the hospital as well. So this is from the hospital. So these, Panario cold packs. This was the like my lifesaver. Like I was in the hospital and they gave these to us, and I kept asking for more and more and more and more. Um, they're disposable, and you just crack it open and you shake it, and then it's cold. So this I got off of um, Amazon as well. It's called Panario cold pack. Um, and it's just like a standard size and size and you just put this and it gives you like a cooling effect sensation so you know if you're sore down there it definitely definitely helps i think i got this from Medi mediline on um amazon as well we also have mama earth mama organic nipple butter this was very important too because you don't want your nipples to crack and i wanted something that was organic so if my baby did 
like you know taste it that it would be okay for her to ingest and i also heard from the nurse that this was a really good brand as well in uh what to use because they will they'll give you things um at the hospital but sometimes you might just prefer your own i felt like this really really helped besides which is free 99 your actual breast milk that also will help um, soothe your nipples dermaplast so i went through like this was almost two of these <laughs> while i was in recovery and this helps with pain and itch and it, it does have like a nice cooling kind of like a little bit of a stinging sensation but it not like an uncomfortable stinging sensation like a good feeling so i would definitely suggest this so they also will give you dermaplast at the hospital i also would suggest for you to bring a pair of slides. So the showers aren't the best, but I had these slides and they're really cute and they make you feel good. And it's important because like you wanna feel good after you give birth, even though things are a mess and crazy and all of that. Um, I just had these slides, use them as water shoes for when I took a shower, which was, very comforting um, and I got these off the shoe soul society.com and the last thing I'm gonna talk about are these tuck pads so this is very important and essential for your recovery if you are delivering vaginally you want to make sure that you are cleaning that area very well because you don't want any type of infection that'll be a nightmare so definitely make sure that you get some tucks pads this will help to clean um, the area that you have gotten your stitches very well because you're not going to be able to really wash if you understand what i'm saying um so this is really really good to kind of just touch up with your your bottle like your squeezy bottle and you can mix a little bit of soap in here and just squeeze and that's another way that you can clean and so that's pretty much it so those are like my top 10 things that i would suggest especially uh postpartum next episode stay tuned because i'm gonna have plenty more um with motherhood exposed plenty of hacks and tips um things that i found useful things that i might not have found useful just stay tuned next time i'll probably be talking about some of baby items like with her that i use such as the snoo which is like this new bassinet is supposed to be like a night nurse and i'm gonna give you all the details about that so thanks for watching and hopefully hopefully you'll subscribe and i will see you soon thanks bye